this is my going to be my second attempt to upload this video, but this is a basic um, C1 or Core 1 WJEC quick um, quick fire course on all the topics. Ten topics in total. I'll be starting with one, which is called Core Geometry in Two Dimensions. I'm just going to start straight off with the first topic, but you will need to know um, these six: the distance between two points, midpoint of the line joining two points, the gradient of a line joining two points the equation of a line joining two points, and determine the point of intersection of two lines. And you will need to know that, what perpendicular and parallel lines are. So, I will jump straight into the very first topic, the distance between two points. This is very simple. It is based on the Py on Pythagoras' theorem that you, that, that you learned at GCSE. At GCSE, you know that the distance of the hypotenuse, the longest side on a triangle, on a right angle triangle, is equal the square root of the hypotenuse is equal to, this, um, to the two other sides added together, um, squared added together. So, we simply apply the same theory to, a, that, that's A in case you're wondering, to the distance between two points. This point and this point. This point will be x1 by y1. This point will be x2 by y2. So those, um, those, are our, those are our two points that we're trying to find. I'm sorry if the um, this writing's not very clear, but this is as clear as I can make it. So again, x1, y1, x2, y2. Now, to find it, to find this line, which is your hypotenuse, you must use these two here. I will call this m for the time being, this point here. The basic equation is very is very simple. To find the distance between A and B, you use Pythagoras' theorem. Therefore, A and B is equal to the square root, and remember, the square root of this whole thing, of x2, sorry, open brackets being x2, minus x1. So, x2, take away x1. Close brackets, plus I'm going to repeat this because this is the kind of thing that, um, that that intelligent people will mess up on. Because it's such a simple thing, and while you're doing the more complex maths, you miss out on the simple things. So plus y2 take away y1. Simple as that. That is how is how is how you find it. If you'd like to write down the equation, the distance from a to b is equal to the x coordinate of b take away the x-coordinate of a, all squared. Sorry, I forgot the squares. You see, that's the kind of thing you mess up on. The small things that, um, that, are, that are so important, important to the final equation. Okay. And then the y-coordinate of b minus the y-coordinate of y. Again, squared. Now I will show you it in, ap um, in application. So, the A coordinate is going to be 2, 3. So remember, x1, y1. B will be equal to 4, 5. x2, y2. So, simple equation. Distance from A to B is equal to the square root of 4, sorry, open brackets, minus 2 squared. You must always remember the squared. Plus, open brackets, 5, or y2, take away 3, y1 squared. Working this out, you get the square root of 2 squared plus, again, 2 squared. That's simple. Next, you got the least. Next, after that, when you're when you're at that point, you si you simplify it. So still equals square root of four, which is the square root of two, um, which is two multiplied by two. But please do remember, because again, this is something simple that you will slip up on when you're trying to be fast in the exam. Any power square um, squared included. If you have four squared, it is sixteen. It is not eight. 
I know it seems elementary, but that's the kind of thing people slip up on. I've slipped up on it in the past, that, and that's why you should always check over your exam paper for stupid little things like that. Plus 4 again, because it is the square, um, squared. It's 2 squared. Okay. Now equals is the square root of 8. Now, the problem we face here with the square root of 8 is that 8 does not have a nice square root. 8 is something horrible. It's about 2.8, I think, or 2.7, somewhere around in that, in that region. <coughs> Sorry. So, you do not work it out for two reasons. One, because it's horribly difficult to work out. Two, you do not have a calculator in this exam. So if you do work it out, you're going to need to use a calculator, which will give away that you've used the calculator in a non-calculator exam and will get you disqualified. And so, you just leave it as the distance between A and B is equal to the square root of 8. It's, it's that simple. Of course, if this was, say, the square root of 4, you would put 2. If it was the square root of 9, you put 3, so on, so on and so forth. This concludes the first, um, the first topic, which is the distance between two points. Thank you very much.